guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I am going to be feeding my family this week. I'm going to show you five different meals that I'm cooking. So when I did a food haul last week, lots of you said that you'd love to see all the meals that I was showing you. So I'll link my food haul down below. And then these meals I'm showing you are from that food haul. So two of the ones I have already made dedicated videos out of, that was the um, spinach and ricotta lasagna and also the lazy roast yeah the lazy roast so i will link those down below but the other five meals i'm going to be sharing with you today are still from the same food haul so um what i'm going to do is just literally go monday through to friday and then show you all the different ingredients i use for each meal and then get on with how i cook them and what they look like at the very end if you're watching this and you're new to my channel i would love for you to subscribe i post loads of different foodie content on my channel so if you like a little bit of meal inspiration then hopefully you will like my channel <laughs> Right, so here are the ingredients that we need for tonight's dinner. We've got some sausages. This is essential marmalade. That's what's gonna make your um, whole like dish sticky. We have got um, some potatoes. I will use all of these potatoes. And we've also got some carrots as well. So I'll use probably about um, four carrots, one for each of us, all of these and all of these. And then I will top it off with some salt and pepper and some sage as well. This really, really brings out so many delicious flavors. So this is pretty essential too. So I'm just going to prep it all now and then I'll show you once it's in my baking tray, ready to go in the oven. Completely forgot to say that I'm gonna be putting onions and garlic in there as well. So I've just cut my onion in half and then kind of like made it into little wedges almost. So I'm just gonna get that and then just sprinkle it all around and then here are my garlic cloves. So I have taken the skin off, but I'm just gonna sprinkle those around. They just become really nice and soft and absolutely delicious in here. So I'm gonna pop some sage in and then I'm going to put um, two tablespoons of marmalade in here and give it all a really nice mix around. If you wanted to, you could add honey in here instead. Um, totally up to you. And it works the same kind of way with honey as well. Right, so for tonight's dinner, I am going to be making moussaka, but I've decided because I've got some lasagna sheets left over, I'm going to also add in a few layers of that. But traditionally, moussaka doesn't have lasagna sheets in there. I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you my ingredients now, and then I will start cooking. Right, so these are the ingredients I will be using. So I've got some lamb mince. I always get like 20% fat lamb mince. I've got an onion, some garlic, Passata, you can use this, or chopped tomatoes, or like real tomatoes as well if you want. An aubergine, a vegetable stock. Oh, I also am gonna make a white sauce, so I will also have some butter, flour, and milk as well. Right, so first things first, I'm gonna get two pans out. One pan is going to make, or a saucepan, it's gonna make up my white sauce. So let's just put a knob of butter in there, melt it down, put about three heaped tablespoons of flour in there and then keep topping your milk up in there. Use a whisk to make sure you don't get any lumps in it. And then in the other pan, I'm going to make up my lamb mince. So I'll put onion and garlic in there, diced up really finely, and then I'll fry off my lamb mince and then I will add in my um, passata and also my vegetable stock cube too. Okay, so my meat's cooked, my white sauce is made and my aubergine are cut up. So I have cut my aubergine about kind of that thick. This way you don't need to kind of preheat these first because a lot of times people will kind of put these in the microwave to soften them up first. But if you cut them nice and thin like that, you don't have to. So when it comes to layering it up, I'm gonna put a layer of white sauce down first. The reason why you want some white sauce down first is so the pasta doesn't stick to the base. That'll do. And then I'm gonna go in with some mints. Right, next up I'm going in with the aubergine. Another layer of white sauce. So then you want one more layer of meat, one more layer of aubergines, topped off with some white sauce and obviously some cheese on top. Right, it's all done. Look how good that looks. That's gonna go into the oven on 170 for about 45 minutes. That's gonna make sure that your aubergines get really nice and soft and then it's ready to eat. Tonight we are having a load of jacket potatoes. So the boys have actually got clubs tonight. Um, so I'm doing their food first. I've got two jacket potatoes in there. I have grated some cheese. This is actually meant to be cheddar, but 
We've eaten it all, so this is Parmesan cheese. And then here I am frying off some bacon medallions. So these are the bacon medallions that I buy. They've got all the fat taken off them. So I've just done three of those for the boys. And then this will be for us later on. And then I'll fry them off to make them really nice and crispy. Add them into the cheese mix. And then in a couple of minutes, I'm gonna take these potatoes out, cut them in half, scoop out the middle bit, mix it in with the cheese and bacon, pop them, like all the mixture, back into the potatoes and pop them back in the oven for about five or 10 minutes. Let all the cheese melt into the potato insides. And then they're ready to eat. tonight we're having spaghetti meatballs so I do my spaghetti meatballs either with lamb mince or steak mince so I've got steak mince tonight so basically what I do is I just get the mince and then I roll them into balls and I put them into my frying pan fry them off I don't add anything extra into my balls because I make my own pasta sauce so in the pasta sauce I'll put some um, some onions some garlic some liam perrin some soy sauce and things like that to make the sauce really delicious and because you have fried your meatballs in the same pan as that you make your sauce in, the nice juices from the meat will go into your sauce as well. And then I literally just boil up some pasta and serve it like that. This is one of the kids' favorite meals um, and it's really quick and easy to do. The ingredients I need for this, I've got some lean steak mints, I've got some passata in here, I've already chopped up some onions, well, one onion and three garlic cloves. I've got um, lean perrins and soy sauce, tomato passata and then some um, pasta as well, some spaghetti pasta. making a sweet potato um, curry that's it <laughs> sweet potato curry so for this meal you will need the following right so here are all my ingredients I've got some onion and garlic in there I've got a chili I've got 200 ml of vegetable stock and then here is my curry paste so I've made that with um, one tablespoon of turmeric one tablespoon of cumin one tablespoon of madras curry powder and two tablespoons of um, garam masala I've got some ginger here. This is just ground ginger. I would use um, fresh ginger, but I don't have any. Um, I've got three sweet potatoes here, some runner beans, and a tin of coconut milk. So I'm going to start off by frying off my onions and chilies in some oil with some of my ginger, ground ginger. Then I'll add in my curry paste. Then I will add in my sweet potatoes and my vegetable stock and my coconut milk. And then lastly, once that's all simmered down and my um, sweet potatoes are nice and tender, I will then add in my green runner beans. And obviously on the side, I'll be cooking up my rice too. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it and so I know to make more videos like this. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.